Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, August 1st, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to it. So, uh, July is finished, and it was quite a good month in July. We basically started off all the way down here at 11.4k and ended up at 12.9k. We are basically above the 20 simple moving average in the weekly chart, but we are running into this area which should offer quite a lot of resistance. And the question is whether or not we break break above there in one go or technically we pull back and then continue higher. As we have broken above the 20 simple moving average, it kind of looks like we are going to head towards the top of the bullish band or towards the 50 moving average going forward. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has crossed the signal line still in bearish territory, but that is a very a bullish signal. As you can see, if we go back in time, every time we have had this uh, breakdowns and we have a crossing of the 20s uh, of the MACD, we have had quite a, a long period of sustainable growth. Same goes for here in uh, 2018, 2020, and now yet again in 2022. So we may well be that for the uh, next few months or the rest of 2022, we will see a constant uh, increase in the value of the NASDAQ. If you look at, uh, at the MACD, uh, not the MACD, but the stochastic, we can see that because stochastic is also bullish and the RSI is also uh, bullish and there's a lot of room to the upside. Several weeks, uh, we can basically continue gaining without being overbought in in the RSI. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can estimate also where we may find major resistance. And we can see that we haven't really tested the 38.2, which is a 13.2K. And then we have the 50 here at 39 k And then we have the 50 moving average right after that. And then we have the 61.8 at 14.6. After that is technically over with resistant areas and we could be heading back towards all them highs. There is an area right here where we tested the 50 moving average. This is all the way back in the end of um, March and then broke down. When we basically break this, it's kind of a V-shaped recovery for this market. Otherwise, if we get rejected at the 50, it may well be that we drop back towards the 200 moving average, uh, but this may well be the recession that people are basically talking about, or expectation of the recession that is coming. Uh, financial markets are uh, ahead of the real economy and it may well be that uh, that the financial markets have already priced in the recession that is coming for uh, the next uh, few uh, orders. So that may, be, may well be. To the downside, if we get rejected here or uh, at the 38.2 or at the, uh, at the 50 Fibonacci retracement, it may well be that we'll drop back towards a 20 simple moving average before in going higher. Doesn't mean that we're going to go uh, straight up into the air uh, all of a sudden. It may well be that we'll just see back and forward going higher. And we have, when we get towards the 50 moving average, it may well also be that we get rejected there as we did the last time we tested the 50 simple moving average. So let's look at the uh, S&P 100, very similar here. We have an area right around this where we have the previous lows uh, from March and the previous highs from May. We are approaching that area. We are actually testing it at this current stage, but we are above the uh, 20 simple average. It's a very bullish candlestick. And in the uh, lower chart, the daily uh, four uh, hour chart and so on, we are significantly overbought. So a pullback at this point would make sense before going higher. But also here, 50 moving average looks like we're just going to travel in this direction and we may get rejected at that point. If we get, if we rally above, then we have this area all the way up here, which should offer also massive resistance. But that is several uh, weeks or months into the future. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is, has crossed the signal line. It's a bullish signal. 
Stochastic is bullish and RSI is also bullish, only at uh, 30, uh, 49, and there's a lot of room to the upside. When we have hit both for the NASDAQ, uh, the S&P, Dow Jones hit these areas or you know, gotten oversold like we did here, here, and so on, we have had massive recovery. And that could be what we are looking at going forward. It's basically a V-shaped recovery, but that is to be seen. So Dow Jones, it has not dropped as far as uh, the other indices, but we did kind of test the 200 moving average. And also here, uh, when we have hit the 200 moving average, this is all the way back in 2016, this is 2015, and this is all the way back to 2012 and so on, the market has tend to rally. So, and going and going forward. So it may well be that we'll some, see something similar here, that we this was basically the bottom, and then we are going to see a uh, rally from here. It may also be that we'll run out of steam around this area, have a pullback before going higher, which is kind of the expectation I have for the Nasdaq and also the S&P 500. 50 moving average moving in this direction, and that this area here, and also the 50 moving average could be where this runs out of steam. If we break above, then we have another area up here from around 34.9K uh, all the way up towards 35.5K, which should offer resistance as well. To the downside, 200 moving average is kind of the bottom of this market, and it will take um, a lot before this basically breaks. Taking indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, RSI is also bullish, and so a lot of room to the upside. So, European markets. We have broken above the 200 moving average. Look at the daily, we have also broken above the 50 moving average and had a really, really nice run. We did kind of make a double bottom here. And at this current stage, it looks like 20 simple moving average up here at the 13.7 is going to be the next target. After that is the double uh, uh, double uh, top here, which is around 14.4, uh, 45.5, and the 50 moving average. So 20 simple moving in this direction. If we break above here, then we may go towards the 50. And breaking above that and these two candlesticks um, here will lead us back towards the highest yet again. Technical indicators, MACD has not crossed the signal line, but it is turning around. When it does, then it's a bullish signal. Stochastic is, uh, is bullish and RSI is uh, bullish as well. So, Japanese Nikkei, we are um, still above the 50 moving average, still above the 200 moving average in the daily. So, last time we were here, we got rejected. Um, this was the last time we got rejected. Also, the, the third time we were here, we also got rejected, but still, we are hanging on. It may well be that we'll, we'll in August, this completely turns around and we head back towards the bottom of the bullish band. If not, if we manage to take out the highs here, then may well go back towards the highs here of nine, all the way up to 30K. To the downside, 25.5 should be the bottom or the 200 moving average as we kind of tested it here. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, RSI is also bullish, and still a lot of room to the upside. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX is still uh, just above the 200 moving average. So it has fallen off a cliff below the 50 moving average, and there's basically selling occurring at the end of the US session. So, so kind of expectation that we are going to see the VIX go even lower. MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well, and quite a lot of room left to the downside. 200 moving average should offer uh, some uh, support, massive support. Breaking uh, below that, then we kind of head towards this area here, which offered a massive support in the past. This is roughly at 16, all the way up towards the 17, um, and that still to be seen. To the upside, if we, um, if we get rejected here and then we may see this market roll over and head back towards the up side and that's around uh, the highest here roughly at the 32 to 35. So the 10 year 
and Fenrir has technically broken uh, support, which was around this area here, 2.7. We are trading at 2.658 at this point. And if you look at Fibonacci retracements for this, we can kind of estimate where we may see this market going forward. 38.2 is the next one, that's the 2.5. Then we have the 50, 2.3, and then 61.8 at the two. So 50 moving average is moving in this direction and that should offer quite a lot of support. So we may see this market go towards the 50 and then head back up. Uh, if we break below the 50, then the 200 moving average is down here and the 61.8 is also around this area, which we also could basically get uh, where we can find support. Taking the indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and my uh, portfolio are available in the link down below. Good luck, and thank you very much.